Are you freaking kidding me? I'm trying to learn a YouTube channel and now we got something called a niche or a niche. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's what you specialize in and it's what we're going to talk about today. Today we're going to be diving into a topic that's a little, no, I would say a lot, unconventional and maybe even contradictive in the world of content creation. This topic is absolutely crucial for anyone thinking about starting a YouTube channel or for those already on their journey but feeling a little lost in the process. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to explore why it's perfectly okay to avoid boxing yourself into a specific category and how this can actually be a breath of fresh air for your creativity. Today we're going to discuss the topic of niche or no niche when it comes to your YouTube channel. No. Many people pronounce this topic in many different ways. Niche, niche, which is right? I don't really know. I've heard a good argument for a rhyme and the pronunciation is niche though. The riches are in the niches. So that one seems to hold some merit in the pronunciation battle. Maybe pronouncing it niche seems a little more fancy and deserves the old pinky up motion while using it in that way. Heck, I don't know. Pronounce it however you like. First things first, let's take a moment to define what a niche or a niche is. So what is a niche? A niche is an activity specifically suited to a person's interests, abilities, or nature. But what if you don't have a specific niche? Can you still create a successful YouTube channel? Let's talk about what does it mean to not have a niche. Well, it means that you are freeing yourself from the constraint of sticking to a particular subject or style. Not having a niche is about freeing yourself to explore a variety of topics and interests and then sharing all of these passions with your audience, regardless of just how varied they are. Would you believe that there are actually benefits to not having a niche? Yeah, it's true. There are actually benefits to not having a dedicated niche. Let's talk about those benefits in a minute. First things first, you are never boxed in. You can talk about tech related topics one day, fashion the next, then you can switch over to cooking when you decide to fire up the grill and make something amazing. This variety not only keeps your content fresh, but it also attracts a very diverse audience. It's also a fantastic way to keep those creative juices flowing, never feel stuck for an idea, and keep your interest in making videos. Could you imagine doing the same thing over and over, day after day? Nah, nope, that's not for me. Give me the variety and spice of life. Okay, okay, okay. I have to tell you a confession. I have from the age of a small child and have often had a hard time focusing on, focusing on one thing. Squirrel! <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. As you can see, I'm not really a spring chicken anymore. And though the, through the years, I've had a large variety of interests. I mean, honestly, how boring would it be to make a video about the same widget every single day for every single video? Does not having a specific niche create challenges within, it, within itself? It can, depending on how much you let it create those challenges. The biggest challenge is the risk of not being seen as an expert in any one field. You may have heard the quote before, Jack of all trades, but master of none. That quote dates back to 1732. Man, that's a long time ago. The interesting thing is though, that a Jack of all trades at one time in history was a very highly respected thing. To me, it still is, and that's kind of what I am. I know how to do a lot of things, but I don't hold a degree from a higher university. The plus to me is that knowing how to do a lot of things has gotten me through many things in life without having to depend on others to do things for me. To me, that's more valuable than a college degree. Okay, enough about me. Let's get back to the subject at hand. There's an easy way to overcome this risk of not being seen as an expert in one particular area. You just simply focus on the quality of your content, you be authentic, and you connect with your audience on a personal level. Your unique perspective is what will make you stand out. Remember, no one cares what you know until they know that you care. There's so much truth in that statement. Connecting personally with your audience builds trust and gives you the opportunity to help them. To bring this to a close, I want to say that you will see some variety on my channel when it comes to videos. Who knows, maybe one day I will settle down to one topic and then it will be more aligned, but for now, variety is the spice of life. The point is this, whether or not you have a specific niche on YouTube entirely depends upon your personal goals and the kind of audience you want to attract. Both paths can lead to YouTube success and the most important thing is how you engage with your viewers. That's where the success lies 
and the relationships you build with those that trust you. Focus there, the details will work themselves out. I really want to say thank you to our 42 subscribers that have placed their trust in us and returned to keep up with the content that we are making. If you want to be part of the most appreciated subscribers on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe today so you don't miss any of our new videos coming out. Oh, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and click that bell. It really means a lot. Thanks guys. I really appreciate you joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.